marathon is 26.2 miles of pure exhaustion. An impossible distance for most people to run where you fight dehydration and fatigue. And today, I'm gonna be running an entire marathon in an inflatable dinosaur suit. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. I'm about to run a marathon in a dino suit. I cross the start line and then it's just me, the suit, and the clock. Let's go, baby. This marathon is off. Let's get it going. Sub five, baby. My goal? Finish with a sub five hour marathon. A pace of 1127 per mile. 1127 might sound slow, but I was truly terrified of this goal and the pain I'd have to suffer to reach it. But hey, we're already at mile one. Oh, this is gonna be a long, 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 long race. People were loving the costume though, and I was able to make it in the local news. Now that the paparazzi was on me, I knew I had some heavy pressure to finish. But just like that, I hit mile two. Hit mile two. 922. We're running way too fast. And despite running way too fast, I was still messing around and making stupid jokes like giving the dinosaur water. Bruh. But it worked since I just hit mile three. At this point, I was feeling good. 23 miles to go felt like nothing. First 5k, sub 30. That's what I'm talking about. Who would have thought? Sub 35k to start a marathon in a dino suit. Cops are after me for running too fast. I can't be running this fast in the dino suit. And I was way ahead of my 1127 pace goal, coming through mile four in a 1006. Here's the Strava map of the course. And I was just beginning to realize that this was gonna be a lot harder than I thought. I'm literally drenched in sweat in this thing already. There is very little airflow in here. The front of this thing keeps rubbing up against my face. My entire face is gonna be skinned at the end of this. It's already one of the hardest things I've ever done. But I am committed to finishing this race for you guys. Hey, you better subscribe for this crazy effort. And then, mile five. We just hit mile five. This is officially the furthest I've ever ran in this thing. I've once ran an 8K of this. We are officially in uncharted territory. And then the unthinkable happened. My inflatable dinosaur costume popped. <laughs> this thing definitely popped somewhere. The head is no longer staying up. It has no air whatsoever. Probably not meant to run a bit without it. I mean, keep this going as long as I can. This is rapidly deteriorating. This is basically what I was seeing. I was running blind. It's deflating. It's I, deflating. It's gone. It got bombed somehow. <laughs> I might have to take the head off. Take the head off. It's starting to become a hazard that I can't see at all because this thing just deflated. Ugh. I can't see. Oh wow, that is a breath of fresh air. I had actually see. So the Dino suit lasted six and a half miles. I'm still gonna wear it, obviously, because that's the title of the video. <laughs> Unfortunately, that thing just did not last. It is what it is. We're gonna keep grinding now. Drop the pace, I guess, even though we're running really fast. We got less than 20 miles to go. This thing is still a sauna, still super hard to run it. But with the gigantic dino head off, I was able to start cranking. It's like I couldn't help myself but run fast. Mile seven, fastest mile yet for obvious reasons. 836 or something like that. We're getting close to a third of the way done. I just kept getting faster and faster. <laughs> oh. Oh, another apex predator out here. I was crushing my pace. Little 816, mile eight. The one thing that worries me is I've never actually ran a marathon before. I don't know if speeding up now is gonna come back and bite me. But for now, it was too easy. Deadly hill. Right into the sun. We don't walk the hill, baby. Yeah! I thought marathons were supposed to be hard, not an easy run. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Rewind. Does that say sub four marathon pace? Oh my gosh. Four hour, let's go. I caught up somehow. What's the pace for four? I'm now running sub four pace. I just passed the four hour pace group. Didn't think this is possible. We're sub four right now, baby. I can't emphasize this enough, guys. I am a full hour ahead of the pace I originally wanted to run. And that means a new goal, a sub four marathon, which is a pace of 909 a mile. Mile 11, mile 12. Woo. 
Never in my life have I wanted to turn right so badly. It's all the half marathon people. I want to be done. We're only halfway. They're about to finish. We still got another one to do right here. Let's go, baby. Halfway. Halfway feeling good. But if you're feeling bad at this point, it might end bad. <laughs> But as I came through mile 14 and mile 15, I was about to hit my toughest challenge yet. Oh my gosh, that is a savage uphill. Oh my gosh. There's an absolutely savage uphill coming up. This scares me. The foe doesn't do it justice. Ooh. Yeah, this is uphill. Oh man, you feel it. Oh wow, this is uphill. I feel this in the calves right now. I feel like gas up this hill. You gotta be joking. Wow, I somehow crested that hill. That hill was deadly. Might have to get down a notch. Mile 16. Oh yeah, baby. Time to go. Little did I know that I was just a couple miles away from the most pain I've ever been in. Single digits to go. Starting to feel it. I'm hurting. I'm hurting kind of bad. See, that hill hurt me more than I knew. It drained me. I said mile 18. I'm really starting to feel it. Might be the inexperience of never having run a marathon. Goodbye with this dino suit. I'm dying. I just gotta keep pounding though. Keep pounding, keep pounding, keep pounding. I only had seven miles to go and I was well under four hour pace. But then the race caught up to me. Out of nowhere, I just got this stabbing pain in my right thigh. I don't know what happened, but it's killing the pace right now. You can't pick it up at all. This is deadly. Almost. Getting towards the end too. I mean, oh my God, dude. Ah, right here, it's on fire. I really don't want to walk, but it might come to that. It's feeling good as I hit 20, and then this just happened. Guys, I can't believe I'm walking. This is so embarrassing. I knew it was gonna come to this. I went out way too hard. I should not have been running eight O's any point in this race and now I'm just feeling it. I truly, truly hit the wall. Just like that, it changed just like that. My God, my thighs feel like they're getting stabbed right now. Mile 21, four flat pace coming up on me. I might try to jog with them because I want to hold it together. Break four here. Let's go. Oh my God. It's got to be tough. Got to be tough. Lock in. So I started jogging again. I wanted to break four so badly. And after running a mile, my thighs started to feel a lot better. Three to go, baby. Picking it up a bit off the uh, four hour group. As long as my calves don't cramp, I'm gonna finish this hard. We see the calves did not cramp. Oh, there it goes. Whew. Calves are cramping kind of heavy right now. I think I went too early. Calves are on fire. I thought I was done. I thought I was there. And then the calves just came out of nowhere. No matter what though, I knew I was going to finish. At the beginning of this marathon, I wasn't sure if this was possible. But through some crazy focus and relentless drive, I was about to shatter my goal time by an hour. There's that. 